Hello, Tyler McAllister here with RV Sales of Oregon. Today I'd like to show you this 2008 Holiday Rambler Scepter. Same coach as a Monaco Camelot, same production line, uh, same builders, same everything. It's just a Holiday Rambler Scepter. Um, excellent, excellent coach, real nice condition. It was always kept inside. Uh, 3M mask here on the front, black kind of a champagne color then another black stripe and then a merlot or a red stripe really a pretty exterior coach um, side cameras power entry door awning upgraded LED lights with sensors on them uh, this guy spent a lot of money on this coach it's got um, two solar panels up on top He's had uh, handling uh, chassis modification by uh, Source Engineering, which is a local company that um, specializes in ride enhancements of uh, motorhomes, Monaco's, Country Coach, etc. Uh, this coach handles far, far better than uh, a standard Monaco or uh, Holiday Rambler would. Anyway, um, new tires, garage. It's got a large patio awning that starts here, runs over this entire slide out. This is a quad slide coach, uh, 400 horse Cummins engine, storage bays down below here, side hinge doors. It's got a lot of trick little features on it. This is your fuel fill here, fuel tank up front. You've got a storage bay here that appears to be a cover. Um, over the top of this coach. I sold this coach no, new to the gentleman. Um, he's from Scottsdale, Arizona. He, he gave us the opportunity to bring this coach up here and sell it, so that's what we're going to do. Um, storage base here. Pass through storage base. Got high dollar um, slide out joey beds here. Low profile, so you get the absolute maximum amount of storage space you can um, in the compartments. Like I said, barn type doors, another joey bed there, uh, extra tile for the interior of the coach. The exterior is in really, really nice condition. Uh, LP tank there, furnace here, batteries back here. This is a bedroom slide, and all the windows here in the bedroom have. Um, awnings as well, as well as toppers over all of the uh, four slide outs. Battery bay here, you've got two uh, roll out battery trays. It's your battery disconnect back here in the far passenger side rear of the coach. Chassis and house battery disconnects. This is a side radiator coach, so you've got an ISL uh, 400 horse Cummins engine, regularly maintained, uh, 10,000 pound hitch, ladder so you can get up onto the fiberglass roof if you want to. Um, like I said, there's two large solar panels up there, an upgraded satellite system for the TVs, a uh, seven pin Bargman for towing, hitch is rated at 10,000 pounds. Uh, high location for your air intake is one here, side radiator of course here, power cord reel, 50 amp service in here, another bedroom slide here on the uh, driver's side of the coach. Here's your wet bay, notice you've got um, your uh, outside shower, low point drains, city water, fresh water fill there. Uh, paper towel holder, pretty standard stuff there. This is the other side of the storage bays that I was showing you earlier on the uh, passenger side of the coach. Topper awning on this other um, large dining room slide out area. Of course, awnings over the windows on this side as well. Uh, there's no checking really to say on this coach. Up front here is your generator. It's probably got a 7.5 or an 8 kW Onan generator. Nice outward bound mirrors, one piece windshield, so you get a real nice unobstructed view of the road. Come inside and I'll show you the inside of the coach. You've got um, exterior security, uh, doorbell here at the grab handle area. Nice big steps. And of course the uh, Monaco cockpit, you've got nice uh, visual 
of all the gauges, your fuel gauge, your um, RPMs, miles per hour. Got a nice little add-on over here. Driver shades, battery boost, um, six-speed Allison transmission. It's an MH4000. This coach is equipped with air leveling. Does not have jacks on it. It's got air leveling, which is a nice upgrade to have. Step covers, um, side cameras and rear cameras all located here. This is a uh, oak interior. It's real pretty, very durable. Got some more controllers here. Up here you've got the flat screen sharp TV, wine guard, um, satellite system mounted up on the top. It's a traveler. Storage space over here. Nice high ceilings. I'm about 6'4". It gives you plenty of room to get up and move around. Pleather seats. This coach uh, passenger seat has a um, power foot rest on it. Over here you've got an RCA Bluetooth um, upgraded um, audio system. Over here you've got more storage space. Nice colors. Full tile all the way through back into the bedroom area. You've got uh, this bed or this sofa here is a hide -a bed with an air mattress so this pulls out makes into a nice sleeping area here. This is the pump for your air mattress right here. Goes down below. Lots of storage space and lots of counter space all the way across the coach. You see you've got a real nice low level convection microwave. Nice space up above to put a cookie sheet if you want. Big Corian countertop. Three burner cooktop here. More cabinet space here. Nice molded, deep molded Corian sinks. This isn't the 7030. These are like residential sinks that you you have in your home. Nice back bar area. More storage space here. Lots of cabinets. Scrubby bin. More drawers across here. You've got three nice drawers here. An area to put your um, cooktop stuff goes down below here. A pull out. Countertop extension. On this side you've got two nice big doors and you can put uh, you know bottles of wine, cooking oil, whatever you might want to put back there. Really enhances your kitchen area. You've got access to it from here as well. When you're done, roll it back in. Tile backsplash all through the kitchen area. Nice um, LED lights recessed into the ceiling. They upgraded, the customer upgraded uh, to MCD shades throughout the coach. That's an expensive feature and, and one that you'll find uh, very valuable if uh, you've got regular day-night shades in coaches now. Over here, more storage space all the way across. And they're nice, deep cabinets. Not a cabinet that's put up just to look at, but a cabinet that is fully functional. A nice high-end stressless chair. Love these chairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Real comfortable. You can sit sit down after a day driving, watch TV, have a cocktail, cook dinner, whatever you want to do. Just enjoy your surroundings. That's part of what you do this for anyway, is to sit back, relax, and enjoy the fruits of your hard work. Uh, Freestanding table and chairs. You have two chairs here. You have uh, storage space throughout, all the way across, two cubby holes down below, storage space here, move back here to the four-door refrigerator freezer, it's a Norcold, um, they've taken really good care of this motorhome, like I said it was stored, all the ma maintenance was done uh, at prescribed intervals, there's some neat little features that you'll find in this coach that you won't find in a lot of other motorhomes. Um, nice storage space down below here. That's one of them. This normally isn't a door here. This is a uh, normally a louvered dead air space. All your controls and everything are back here. Like I said earlier, it's got two solar panels up on top. Here's your controller here for your solar. Here's your uh, AC and furnace controls, uh, inverter, 
uh, energy management system, heated uh, bays, generator start and stops right here. Notice the generator kicks on almost immediately. Um, this coach didn't sit in someone's garage. It was used and well taken care of. Um, slide out controls are all right here. So everything that you need to pretty much operate the coach or be able to see the condition of the coach is all located right here. Back here you've got a bathroom area, nice size medicine cabinet, high ceilings like I said before, pocket door across, across here, um, nice molded sink, a couple drawers down below here, storage space there, I'm going to show you quick, washer and dryer could go right here if you wanted it to, if not it's massive storage space, bathroom, nice bathroom area, You've got a nice radius sink area here, uh, residential toilet, You've got cabinet space. This is all your electro or all your electrical panel here. It's got all your fuses and everything here. Storage space in here and here. Nice, uh, fantastic fan with weather sensor or rain sensor there. Storage space down below here. Toilet paper holder here. Bath towel holder there. Nice size shower. It's got a radius door on it. It's a one piece molded fiberglass shower. Guy my size can get in here and shower. I've got about the same size shower in my residential uh, in my home. Uh, skylight up here to help let some light in. And a little bench if you need to to sit down and shave your legs. The ladies like that. Back here into the bedroom area. Once again, MCD shades, which is a really, really nice feature to have. Storage space cabinets up here. A bank of four drawers down here. Two more down below. And then an area here to put your receiver for your satellite system. Another uh, flat screen TV drawers here. Space back here if you want to put a washer dryer. Some people would put it back here. Others, eh. Your cabinet area is back here. Step up onto the engine cover. Got storage space with a, a bar that goes the full length of the storage area here. Built-in cabinet back here. And then a nice double size bed, um, I should say queen size bed, yeah queen size bed. Offset you've got uh, a nice decorative headboard there, um, windows on each end of the slide out so you can get good cross ventilation, ceiling fan, three more spaces up here and if you can't see how deep these cabinets are, they're extremely deep lots of storage space. Solid oak cabinets so they're going to be really uh, durable and um, they should provide you a lot of life and use in this coach. They're not going to scratch, dent, or ding near as easy as some of the cherry cabinets would or some of the other woods. You have a pocket door that closes this area off here so you have privacy back here in the bedroom. You have privacy if you want to in the bathroom and then you have the people out front in the uh, living room area. This coach is available here at RV Sales of Oregon. We're located in Eugene on Highway 99, about 10 minutes from the Eugene Airport. You can pick up the phone and call me. Um, this is an exceptional coach, um, very high caliber coach that was really well taken care of with a lot of features and benefits. So if you're looking for a coach like this, there's a lot of value here. My name is Tyler McAllister with RV Sales of Oregon. Contact me, my partner Craig. The main thing is, is that you get here and drive this away. Thank you.